We're making a drink tonight called the Blinker. The Blinker is believed to have uh, originated sometime during Prohibition, which means that this is a no-no drink. Normally, when they're giving credit out for drinks, they have a hard time finding the person. Now, since we don't know exactly when this drink was created, we're going to give it to a guy named Patrick Gavin Duffy. Uh, he was a bartender. He wrote a book called The Official Mixer's Guide, and that one first came out in 1934. We're not positive, just like a lot of this stuff, we're not positive on whether he invented the drink or he was just the robber that came in and sort of stole the drink and put it into his own book. That happens a lot. <clears throat> Savoy. Now, I'd never had the original version. I found this book in a cocktail book called, it was by a guy named Ted Haig, and he wrote a cocktail book called Forgotten Spirits and Vintage Cocktails. It was one of the bases for bringing back all these old cocktails. Ted Haig, I think he calls himself Dr. Cocktail. He went out there and he found a bunch of old cocktails, old spirits that people hadn't heard of, and he said, hey, can we bring these back? And the bartending community resoundingly said, uh-huh, yep, we can. In his book, though, he changed the recipe. I didn't know this. I didn't realize that Ted Haig went through and changed the recipe. The recipe that Ted Haig has in there includes some raspberry syrup. The original recipe calls for grenadine. And I had to think for a while, why, why would he do that? Why would that, why is that so important? I thought for a minute and then I got it. Normally, when we bring out the spinning machine, we are doing it in order to give credence, in order to uh, exalt upon these lovely liquors that we have back here. Not today. Today, this is the spinner of shame. The reason that Ted Haig had to change the Blinkers recipe is because of one ingredient. And that ingredient is this. Let's put its lights on and let's spin it. This garbage is the reason that we can't have nice things. Patrick Gavin Duffy was out there trying to make really good cocktails, trying to balance the cocktails. He was using grenadine, not this garbage. He was making real homemade grenadine. The problem with it is, is people are gonna start making that cocktail with this spinning vial of trash. That's not what we want. If you're at your house right now and you're about to make this cocktail along with me and this is all you have, stop making this cocktail. This is not the cocktail to make tonight. You do not have the ingredients. If you only have this as your grenadine, you do not have the ingredients to make this cocktail. That's the reason that uh, Ted Haig started to make it with raspberry syrup because raspberry syrup does not come in a plastic bottle. You cannot put raspberry syrup on the back bar and let it sit for years and years. Raspberry syrup goes bad. This stuff will outlast me. I guarantee that this stuff will outlast me. He started, people started making it with raspberry syrup because they needed that fresh, fresh sweet, that berry, that whatever you call pomegranates, you know, whatever you call that. So instead of pomegranates, they started making it with raspberries. Well. I don't think raspberries work as well as a real pomegranate simple syrup, as a grenadine. So if you only have this, stop making this cocktail. You don't have the ingredients. Let's turn off this spin of shame here. Why don't we take two minutes and make some real grenadine? I have all the stuff. Uh, I have one cup of sugar right here, and I have one cup of pomegranate juice. That's all you need. We're gonna get a little fancier. I'm gonna show you guys how to get a little fancier, but that's all you need. You don't even need a heat source. In fact, you don't even want a heat source. I'm gonna show you how to work. Just open up that, that uh, stuff. And pour it in. And then all you gotta do is shake. That's grenadine. That's all grenadine is. You can get fancier with it. Let's add a little rose water and a little orange blossom water to it. This is how much you're gonna put in of each of those. It is minimal. Orange blossom water, you don't need much, check this out. About 10 dashes. About 10 drops, really, that's all you need. And then we need about four drops of some of this rose water. 
Let's give this one more shake here. I got one more trick for you. Check this out. Just go ahead and put in like half an ounce of a little white rum. And now that'll last you about two months. That's it. Okay, this is a grapefruit. We've all heard of grapefruits. So go ahead and squeeze in one ounce of grapefruit juice. I'm saving this grapefruit for another purpose here in just a minute. Next thing we're gonna be putting in here, it's gonna be rye. I got a buddy that makes this stuff. It's called Beverly High Rye. It is not exactly a rye. It is a blended whiskey, rye and bourbon. Nothing is 51% in here at all. There's no 51%. There's a lot of different things uh, coming through. So. It is a high rye American whiskey, uh, but this is a wonderful uh, whiskey. Two ounces of a rye whiskey, half an ounce of a homemade grenadine. Must be homemade. Now I wanted to do one more thing. We're gonna put that off the side while we prep our garnish. Every year at the beginning of the year, I decide we're gonna get back into garnishes. I just, you guys know that garnish is my weakness. I'm not living up to my full potential with garnishes. So uh, we're going to, uh, we're going to brulee a, a grapefruit. Uh, go ahead and just give yourself a nice thin grapefruit slice here, right there. Actually, we can probably do, let's do half of one because this is kind of a delicate drink. We're going to take a little bit of this sugar. And we're going to just pour this on top of here in a nice light dusting. And then we're going to take our monster torch and we're going to torch it. We're basically just gonna brulee this thing until all of that sugar is nice and burned on top of it. We're gonna get a nice, sweet grapefruit. Here we go. We've done it. Put this off to the side, let that grapefruit uh, brulee sort of harden. Like I always say, lots and lots of ice. If we're gonna be shaken, lots and lots of ice. Go, ready, one, two, three. Filter this into a Marie Antoinette. We have our brulee grapefruit. And there you have it. This is the Blinker cocktail. Thought to have been created by a guy named Patrick Duffy in the uh, 1930s, 1934-ish. Uh, is the first time it was written about, but probably created much earlier than that. The reason that we lost this one to time is kind of a tragic story that deals with Rose's Grenadine. It deals with the 1980s and how poorly they made their mixers. The reason that it even had a chance to come back was because people were replacing Grenadine with raspberry syrup. And from there, they were making, they were making basically a, a fake Grenadine. This is it. If you do not have homemade real grenadine at your house, you cannot make this cocktail. I do not recommend you make this cocktail. You will only end this night in disappointment. But if you were able to follow along with the very simple steps of making a grenadine, that you can make this cocktail. Cheers to all of you. This is the blinker. It's perfect. It's perfect. In the end, this is a great cocktail. It needs to come back with the uptick in bars that make their own grenadine. I do think that it'll become safer and safer to order this drink if you go out. Or I think more importantly, this is a great testing ground for your very own uh, grenadine. So good luck.